Welcome back everyone, this is Everlasting Summer Part 2. For you, this is maybe 24 hour. For me, it was 2 minutes. I get into something I should do from the beginning. Uh, the menu, this is the eye. I can remove this. So we can take a screenshot or something. Uh, this is for save. Obviously. This is for load. Obviously, because this is out, this is in. And this is for the menu. Menu, save, load, setting. Like... Eh. So many things. I don't care. Uh, filtering management. Okay. Uh, language. Uh, show game achievement. Font. Uh, should we go to the peg because very hard to read. Auto forward speech window. Yeah. Yeah, this is much easier to read. So we going back to the emo friend that we don't know his friend. Uh, his name is. I hope he doesn't start killing all of his friends because he gave me this vibe. Oh yeah, by the way, returning to the menu thing. Uh, right click give you the menu middle click hide so we don't need to use anything but mouse this is good so it's one hand game the fourth evening bosses stop waiting I never like winter I never like winter though hot summer is not my season either it's just that I see no reason to point out any particular time of the year it doesn't matter much what the weather is outside when you stay at home 24-7. So, because you stay home, we don't need weather. Fuck you. The boss today was running so late that I was about to cross it all and spend my last few hundred rubble for taxi. So, this is a proof that uh, this is happening. Ah, wait a minute. Heaven in Russia. This is a Russian game, so of course it's about Russia. But usually people who make this game outside Japan, they make it still in Japan for the tropes. Ah, sorry, I was drinking water. Reading for this long. If you're thirsty. And I did something stupid, I opened the bottle in the wrong way. Ah, anyway. The bus today was running so late that I was about to curse it all and spend my last few hundred rubble for a taxi. The idea of just returning home didn't cross my mind for some reason. As usual, millions of thoughts flow through my mind, but there was not a single useful one to seize on. Such a thought that you could bring in existence. Give a shock, turn into an idea, and put it practice. Maybe I could start my own business. But where would I get the money from? Ugh. Or maybe I could go back to work in an office? No, no way. Maybe I should try freelancing. But what skill do I have and who would want me after all? Ah, <sighs> this is depressing. I'm okay with bad virtual novel that's fun, but not b very good virtual novel that emo and about uh, finding a job, real life issues, and uh, I was struggling between this game and Founding Heart, which is about lesbians, but I saw the uh, rating in Steam for Founding Heart, which is overwhelming bad, and this is overwhelming good. Overwhelming bad that fun is better than this. Suddenly I remember my childhood, or rather, my teen years, the time when I was 15 or 17. Thank you for explaining what teen years was. Why exactly this years? No idea. I guess it's because back then, everything was much more simple. It was easier to make decisions, because you don't. So complicated now and so simple then. Wake up in the morning, I know exactly how my day was going to pass, and always arguably looked forward to the weekend. 
Then I could get some rest and have time for the things I like. Computer, football, going out with the friends. Yay, he was not back then too. And then at the beginning of the next week, I take up my study again. Back then, there were no such a worry questioning like, Why? Who need it? What will change if I do it? Or what will not change? A simple lifestyle so casual for any normal person, and so odd to myself today. That careless childhood age, it was also then that I met my first love. No, 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 so there are romances. Here, apparently and personally, have vanished from my memory. Or they are never made like a brief line from social network profile. Huh. Along with the feeling which uh, overwhelming me with, I was with her. Affection, tenderness, the desire to create, to care for her and to protect her. Sadly, it didn't last long. Today, I can hardly imagine something like that happen. I would probably like to meet a girl, but I don't know how to start a conversation. What's on earth to discuss and how to attract her? Well, I haven't met any stable girls for a long time, but where could I meet one anyway? Oh, this game reminds me of myself so much. Fuck. The sound of an engine brought me back to reality. Boss rolled over. There was something abnormal about it though. Then again, it doesn't matter. Only the 410 runs the route. Whoa! Okay. Street light passed me by. It is as if their cold light sparkle inside of me, trying to ignite feeling long dead. Or maybe not ignite, just awaking them. Because this feeling, they have been living in me for a long time, slumbering and waking up again. The driver radio was playing some very similar too. But I wasn't listening to it. I was watching the car passing by through the fuck up window. Because people are always rushing somewhere, chasing something they need, stuck in their own little worlds. Why would they care about mine? You don't care about their. Hey, this is uh. Forget her name. Ah, forget. They probably have their own serious problem, or maybe they have much easier life. You can't know for sure since all people are different, or are they? Sometimes someone action can easily be protection, but if you try to look inside his soul, you will only see miserable darkness. Damn, this guy is so fucking emo. The bus was approaching downtown, and my thoughts were interrupted by the bright city lights. Hundreds of billboards, thousands of uh, cars, millions of people. I watched the light show, and somehow I got troubly sleepy. I love the effect of the eye. My eye closed at a moment, and then. I would think something interesting to happen, but nothing interesting happened.
Day one. That was an impressive uh, opening. Not that much, but. But uh, is this is like real life? I didn't watch real life yet, but this is remind me of real life. It's like going to the best, I think, and start your high school life again somehow. Okay, bright daylight struck my eye. The opening was not that bad, but it was like normal. They're all like shot here and there. I'm I'm sure this is not like professional. I think that I get this for free. I don't remember. At first, I didn't pay attention as I wasn't fully awake yet. On their own, my legs carry me toward the door. Simo. Damn, looked like I fell asleep and missed my stop. But there was no door. I look around the bus and realize that it wasn't good old warm out Leah's. Instead, the bus was an Icarus model, a new one. I froze in shock. How? What? Am I dead? Have I been kidnapped? No, I must be dead. I put myself down, freshly slapped myself painfully in the face a few times, bang my forehead on the back of one of the past teeth. It's clear, either I am still alive or you can still feel pain when you're dead. But how could this happen? Maybe I slept for too long and ended up in this box. Uh, and then, what did they put me into another bus? Why? You, they find you in the bus, they will put you in another bus. This is not logical. They will take you to hospital, police station, or something. I rush out and took a look around. Or throw you in garbage can because you are a bum. The greenery, whatever I love, it's all the grass, road, road, trees, flower. Summer? But how? It was winter just a moment ago. Because you hate winter, we skip winter. My head was itching and brimble, as if it was going to explode. Slowly, I began to remember. This is a beautiful action. Whoa. Whoa. The long road running off into the distance. Forest, plain, field. Lake and force again. I think I was sleeping, but then how can I remember all of it? And then a gap, some girl bending over me. She softly whispered something into my ear. Then a gap again. And then I woke up here. Who was that strange girl? The main character, of course! Or was she just a dream? For some reason, thinking about her made me feel better and calmed me down a little. I felt warmth all over, coming from the inside. Could it be her who brought me here? Then I need to find her. And the best, and the best place to look for her anyway, away from here? I rushed to the left. Then, the right then stopped hesitating over where to go. Finally, I ran in the, the direction from which the boss had probably came. Physical exercise does refresh one mind. Throw become clearer and it get a little easier to evaluate the surrounding reality. Uh, not in my case, however, I was sitting on road rise, was uh, wising and trying to ease my sore throat by a living breath of hot air. In any case, the run did its job. The fear was grow for a while. Maybe I really am just a dreamy. Through all recalling my self harm on the bus, I immediately rejected the idea. I am neither dreaming nor dead. Narrow red road came through the field and far into distance. 
That's exact same boat from my dream. I must be very far away from home. And it's not just that it was winter yesterday and it's summer now. You sleep for six months. See? It's the whole environment. Of course, summer is usually like this. Green, hot, but here everything is not entirely lifelike. Everything looked like it was taken from painting of Russian landscape artists of 19th century. The grass is just so lush. The brush are not like what brush should be. They are so thick that you can't see anything through them. Like tree top almost. Hmm. The tree themselves? The force was quite far away, but the tree looked as if they had closed their rank and were just waiting for order to advance into the field and plain. I cut my breath and looked at the post, which was now barely visible. That was a good run. Fear overtook me once again. This power line. This must be people here. But what does that mean? In fact, that means nothing at all. Uh, couldn't they have power line even in hell? Hmm? Roasting sinner over hot quads. Eh, uh, that's so last century. I must have reached the point of no return, after which you co should either lose your mind completely or finally try to understand what's going on. And while I still have choice, I should pick the second option. I slowly headed back to the bus. Of course, it was scary. But I am not like to find the answer in the field or the wood. And this watch box of gold, the only kind of link that I have with the real world. Oh boy, that's from the dream. Uh, this is... Uh, a guy who drinks something, I was thinking he brushing his head like that, but of course, and this is a kid, and there's no owl. Souvernook means owlet. Uh, okay, I, have, uh, I break wall and get a crown uh, with Souvernook sign. The statue of pioneer standing on the other side. And road sign nearby showing the bus route remain number 410. The trip take a bit too long today. I smirked. A person may start acting in probably in extreme situation. Some something like that is probably happened to me now. This place didn't took a abandoned and all. No trust on gate, no damage to the walls. Sivonok. What? What could have name like that? Judging by the Bernier statue, it uh, could be a kid summer camp. Judging by the Bernier, uh, moreover, it appeared to be open. Of course, the simplest uh, explanation, logically speaking. Explain nothing at all. The strange gear, the altar uh, bus, summer, the pioneer camp. Thousands of theory went through my mind. Mostly from alien abduction to lethric sleep, from a hallucination to a time and space shift. None worse than any other, but. Uh, there was really no way to pack a single one. Then it occurred to me, I can try to make a phone call. I took out my cell phone and dialed the first number my Huh. But instead of si signal strength bar, the screen was showing a thick cross. Alright, there may be no signal in such a water place. After all, I cannot be the only one who came here. Buses don't drive themselves. Hmm. 
I examined the bus from all sides to make sure that it wasn't hallucination. Bit of dirt on the bottom, some rust here and there, feeling bent and worn the tire, no, that definitely a very ordinary uh, across. Yeah, exactly the kind of bus which take you to place beyond your understanding if you carefully fall asleep. <coughs> I gave a nervous chuck. It came out by itself uh, super quickly because this wasn't the right place or time to laugh. But where on earth is the driver? I eventually sit down on the curb beside the bus and start to wait. My vision didn't last long. My anxiety seemed to have reached its peak, and I started to go slightly mad. In such a situation, anyone would have probably felt something similar. Aliens and parallel universe were gone for my imagination. They've only void in darkness. Is this is how everything will end? How my life will end? But I wanted to do so much. Just walk away. There were so many things that I had no time to forget. I was over. Uh, I was overwhelmed by the idea that was definitely the end. But why? It's not fair. Surely I'm not worse than anyone else. God, why? Okay, you know what? We have more things to do, but I'll end the installment. This is episode 2. And save the game. And see you next time. Goodbye.